fun size spooks. Vampyra. A quintessential character in the history of horror. She was the first horror host and a pioneer of horror comedy. Both the character and the actress who portrayed her had a very colorful story. In the early 1950s, Finnish-American actress Maila Nurmi left Astoria, Oregon for a career in show business. The natural blonde worked as a cheesecake model and a showgirl along future burlesque star Lily St. Cyr. Maila appeared in a midnight show called Spook Scandals where she was spotted by famous director Howard Hawks, who cast her in his film Dreadful Hollow. Unfortunately, the production was plagued with problems and never got off the ground. In 1953, Maila attended a Halloween masquerade in a costume inspired by the matriarch from the Addams Family cartoon strip. We know the character now as Morticia, but at the time she was unnamed. In her stunning look, Maila caught the eye of TV producer Hunt Stromberg Jr., who was seeking an eccentric character to host a late-night show of newly syndicated classic horror movies. Maila got the job and Vampyra was born. Maila further developed the character of Vampyra from Charles Adams' prototype by hyping up the sex appeal, believing sex and death to be a killer combination. She added in elements of bondage, like her impossibly tight corset, stiletto heels, and long red fingernails. She took influence for the character from the Dragon Lady from Terry and the Pirates and the Evil Queen from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. The Vampyra Show premiered in 1954 and was an instant hit. Vampyra began each show with a trans-like glide down a dark, misty hallway, followed by a blood-curdling scream. She would then introduce and mock that evening's film while reclining on a couch of skulls. Her ghoulish comedy included making martinis with eyeballs instead of olives and offering viewers epitaphs rather than autographs. Vampyra ended each show by wishing her audience bad dreams, darlings. Vampyra became the vamp of the moment, making appearances on The Red Skelton Show, The Ed Sullivan Show, and more. She rode across Los Angeles in a chauffeured 1932 Packard and ran for Nightmare of Hollywood with the platform of Dead Issues. Maila had a long-running affair with War of the Worlds director Orson Welles, who upon first seeing her naked proclaimed, Magnificent Caucus. In 1955, Maila's close friend and Hollywood icon James Dean died in a car racing accident, and Vampyra became embroiled in scandal, including a magazine expose accusing her of causing his death with black magic. Her link to the tragedy, along with several warnings from the FCC about her grotesque humor, caused KABC TV to cancel The Vampyra Show after a successful run of only one year. Maila retained the rights to the character and continued to breathe life into Vampyra. She had a brief run on a competing TV station. She appeared in 1959's Plan 9 from Outer Space, a kooky horror B-movie directed by Ed Wood, whom she met at a birthday party for Bella Lugosi Jr. She also appeared in the horror soap opera Dark Shadows. In 1959, Maila, as Vampyra, performed as the live-action model for Maleficent in Disney's Sleeping Beauty, and you can certainly see Vampyra in the iconic character's arched eyebrows, deep voice, and casual evilness. In between scarce work as Vampyra, Maila worked as a carpenter, installed linoleum, and ran an antique shop on Melrose Avenue called Vampyra's Attic. In 1981, Maila was asked to produce a new Vampyra show, but she was furious when the station cast Cassandra Peterson in the title role without consulting her. She left the project and the character was quickly renamed Elvira. Maila maintained that the character was a direct ripoff of Vampyra and sued Cassandra and the production for $10 million, but lost the case. Maila shuffled off her mortal coil in 2008 at the age of 85. She is buried at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, but the legend of this powerful and spine-chilling Lady of the Night lives on.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon and help me make more horrifying videos. Patrons get cool perks like exclusive content, mentions in videos, and can even request video topics. A link to my Patreon is in the description. Thank you for watching and unpleasant dreams, darlings.